Bradley Manning was just sentenced to 35 years in prison for releasing a massive cache of sensitive government documents to WikiLeaks. It's information that detailed secrets behind America's wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. This minus 1,294 days for time already served. Today's sentence ends a three-year saga in which Bradley Manning endured nine months of solitary confinement while seeing himself become a symbol of, as Matt Sledge writes on the Huffington Post, one individual's potential in the internet age to royal the world's superpower. On July 30th, Manning was convicted of 19 counts. This includes six Espionage Act violations for what the U.S. Army calls the largest leak of classified information in U.S. history. Manning will get credit for his pretrial confinement, which lasted about three and a half years, including 112 days for being illegally punished with harsh conditions at the Quantico, Virginia Marine Corps break. What will his legacy be now that he is sentenced to 35 years in jail? I think his legacy is going to be a bit of a two-step. You know, on the one hand, I think the Obama administration, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that was disclosed by WikiLeaks, everything from international trade to, uh, you know, you know to, 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 to intelligence gathering operations. Uh, you know, there's, there's an awful lot of stuff out there that the administration didn't want out there, some of which is actually is pretty innocuous, some of which, uh, you know, they sent the, the Department of Defense and, and the State Department into overdrive for a really long time, making sure that it didn't hurt anybody. Um, and, and ultimately, nobody was hurt, which I think is, is actually uh, a really important thing to remember about about his legacy. You know, he saw himself as a, a whistleblower for truth and justice. Uh, and I think it's particularly problematic that, you know, things like detainee treatment, uh, you know, we really haven't seen a whole lot of actual prosecutions for that. What we're seeing right now uh, are, are people like Bradley Manning, who, you know, you can, I think there, there are totally legitimate grounds to, to argue that, you know, he overstepped his bounds, that, that WikiLeaks, that these disclosures could have been handled in a better way. But the people who are trying to alert the world to abuses committed by the American government are punished very, very severely. And people actually committing abuses on under the, you know, the, the imprimatur of the American government are not punished for these things. Uh, I, think, I think Bradley Manning's legacy is going to, to really highlight a very, very problematic time in the United States history. You know, Obama has really prided himself on ending torture, for instance, the, the Bush administration's torture policies. Bradley Manning saw himself as a whistleblower over detainee treatment. Uh, but actually, when, when he was, in fact, arrested uh, and apprehended for these leaks, he was sentenced, he spent nine months in solitary confinement. I mean, the UN Special, special Rapporteur on Torture uh, uh, you know, said, said that this was cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, and, and I think it really has damaged the Obama administration's uh, you know, you, you sort of record on, on these types of issues.